Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, may I invite you as we begin this week, the week of prayer for Christian unity, let us pray that in the celebration of the Mass, we might be able to offer prayers for the unity in faith and in charity of all Christians in the world. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, You came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look with favor on your people, Lord, we pray, and pour out upon them the gifts of your Spirit, that they may grow constantly in love of the truth and devote themselves with zeal to perfect unity 
among Christians. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. David spoke to Saul, Let your majesty not lose courage. I am at your service to go and fight this Philistine. But Saul answered David, You cannot go up against this Philistine and fight with him, for you are only a youth, while he has been a warrior from his youth. David continued, The Lord who delivered me from the claws of the lion and the bear will also keep me safe from the clutches of this Philistine. Well, Saul answered David, Go, the Lord be with you. Then staff in hand, David selected five smooth stones from the wadai and put them in the pocket of his shepherd's bag. With his sling also ready to hunt, he approached the Philistine. With his shield-bearer marching before him, the Philistine also advanced closer and closer to David when he had sized, sized up David up and seen that he was youthful and ruddy and handsome in appearance. The Philistine held David in contempt. The Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come against with me, with me, with a staff? Then the Philistine cursed David by his gods and said to him, Come here to me, and I will leave your flesh for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. David answered him, You come against me with sword and spear and scimitar, but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts the God of the armies of Israel that you have insulted. Today the Lord shall deliver you into my hand. I will strike you down and cut, cut off your head. This very day I will leave your corpse and the corpses of the Philistine army for the birds of the air and the beasts of the fields. Thus the whole land shall learn that Israel has a God. All this multitude, too, shall learn that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's, and he shall deliver you into our hands. The Philistine then moved to meet David at close quarters, while David ran quickly toward the battle line in the direction of the Philistine. David put his hand into the bag and looked out a stone, or took out a stone, hurled it with the sling, and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone embedded itself in his brow and he fell prostrate on the ground thus david overcame the philistine with sling and stone he struck the philistine mortally and did it without a sword then david ran and stood over him with the philistine's own sword which he drew from its sheath, he dispatched him and cut off his head. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. 
Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my refuge and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a, sting, with a ten stringed lyre, I will chant your praise. You will give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Please stand. Give joy to my heart, your teaching is light to my eyes. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful? to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it. But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart. Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we have heard in our first reading from the first book of Samuel, the famous story of the battle between David and Goliath, the Philistine, the giant against the little David. And I would like to focus my reflection this morning on one phrase in our first reading today. Before David went to battle, he first asked the permission of King Saul, the king of Israel. Before he went to battle, they were conversing with one another. How can you defeat this giant? How can you defeat this warrior? But David said, The Lord will keep me safe. And before David went to battle, King Saul said something to him. He said, Go, the Lord will be with you. That greeting of soul, the Lord will be with you, reminded me of our greeting in the Mass. The priest 
reminds you always, the Lord be with you. It is a reminder for us that the greeting, the Lord be with you, is not just a recognition of the presence of God, but the greeting, the Lord be with you, assures us that God leads us in the battle, that God is taking charge, God is in control. Sana po ito yung mapaalala sa atin ng pagbasa ngayong umaga na tuwing binabati tayo ng pari sa misa at sinasabi sa ating the Lord be with you sumain nyo ang Panginoon hindi lamang pala ito nagpapaalala sa atin ng presensya ng Diyos kundi pinapaalala sa atin na hawak ng Diyos ang lahat God is taking charge. God is in control. We have seen this in our gospel reading today when Jesus is facing a battle against the Pharisees and the scribes who were asking him, Are you going to cure this man on a Sabbath? That is against the law. But Jesus has taken charge. He wins the battle because Jesus is in control. I am reminded of our celebration of the Mass. Kaya pala, sinasabi palagi ng pari sa misa, The Lord be with you. Because God becomes in control of the celebration. He is taking charge of what is happening in the Mass. At the beginning of the Mass, as we start, I always greet you, the Lord be with you. Meaning, it is God who gathers us in this Mass. Before I read the Gospel, I greet you, the Lord be with you, reminding us that it is Jesus who is speaking. He is taking charge. Before we begin the Eucharistic prayer later, I will again greet you, the Lord be with you, reminding us that in the Eucharistic prayer, Jesus is taking charge. He will change the bread and wine into His own body and blood. And before I give you the final blessing later, I will again greet you. The Lord be with you, reminding us that it is not just the priest who is blessing you. God is taking charge. He will be the one to bless you. And so today, and in every Mass, I greet you four times. The Lord be with you. Let every Mass remind you that God is taking charge. He is taking control. He will lead you into battle. He is in charge. My dear brothers and sisters, the greeting the Lord be with you, is not only used by Catholics, it is used by all Christians, Protestants, Episcopalians, even the Eastern churches use the greeting, the Lord be with you. Let this also be a reminder of the strength of the unity of Christians, unity in faith, unity in charity. Let every Mass remind us that the Lord is always with us. The Lord will be with you. 
He will lead you into your battle. He will take charge. Amen. Please stand. Christ liberated us from the destructive powers of evil and sin so that we could be free to cooperate in spreading the good news. We ask God for this grace and blessing. For every petition, let us say, God of love, stretch out your hand. God of love, stretch out your hand that the church may seek to free persons from whatever stands in the way of communicating the gospel to men of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of love, love, stretch out your hand. That the Lord may give hope and encouragement to the starving of the world who are unjustly deprived of food, clothing, and freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of love, stretch out your hand. That Christians everywhere may not be people of legalisms and outward observances, but people with a heart who do what they have to do as God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of love, stretch out your hand. That we may show concern to those who are suffering so that we may lighten their burdens and help them to keep trusting in God. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of love, stretch out your hand. That the dead and those who mourn their loss may see hope and comfort in the resurrection of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of love, love, stretch out your hand. Loving God, we claim to belong to you and to your Son. Help us through your Spirit to love you by caring and making other people happy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice we offer you purify us, O Lord, and make all who are joined in one baptism, partakers at last of one and the same celebration of these mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Receiving the sacrament of your Christ, we pray, O Lord, that you may renew in your church the sanctifying grace you have given, and that all who glory in the name of Christian may come to serve you in unity of faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we have begun the week of prayer for Christian unity, tonight at 6 p.m. here in the Manila Cathedral, we will be hosting the Ecumenical Worship Service, a gathering of different Christian groups, different Christian churches and denominations, and we will be worshiping and praying together in the name of our one Lord, Jesus Christ. You can join this celebration tonight at 6 p.m. through watching our live streaming on our Facebook page and YouTube channel and also through TV Maria. This will be a very beautiful prayer and worship service because it will be participated by the different Christian groups. After this Mass, we will be posting on our social media pages a copy of the worship service tonight so that you could follow through the online uh, streaming of this celebration at 6 p.m. this evening. And also, we are inviting you at 9 p.m. this evening for the Healing Rosary for the World. It will be hosted by the parish, uh, the San Sebastian Parish, in Fami, Laguna, and we will be praying in front of the venerated image of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Again, this evening, let us come together in praying the rosary for the healing of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, ina ng awa.